are the items I'll be needing to make my rice water for egg gods. So let's basically the items I'll be needing to make my rice water for hair growth so here with me I have my rice you can either use a basmati white rice or you can work with any kind of rice and here with me I have my onion you can either use a red onion or you can use a white onion it depends on what you have always work with what you have okay I have a grater, I have my orange, you can either use an orange, you can use a citron like a lemon, in here I have my glass cup, like an empty glass cup, these are the items I'll be needing and I'll be working with on this video. So the first step is to add water to my glass cup, so you can put as much water as you want and next is to add my rice into my water so i just added my rice and this is what it looks like take a spoon so i'll set this aside my onions So this is what it looks like after grading my onions. So I'm going to put this into and I will set this aside. Next is to grade my orange like I'm grading the back of my orange. This is what it looks like after grating. So after adding my orange and my onions, I'll go ahead and stir with a nice spoon. So I'll cover this. I'll try to cover this. I'll cover this and leave this for 24 hours. Like I will leave this all through the night. If you have something that have cover on it, it's fine. Because I don't have a cover on this cup, so I'm using this method. I'm trying to seal it up. So right now, we set this aside for 24 hours before working with it. Okay. Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. On this video, I'll be showing you all my 4C natural hair routine. The tips on how I grew my natural hair. And I've had this cornrows for two months now. I always do leave my cornrows on my hair for a very long time. That way it strengthens your hair and it gives it this nice thickening nutrient and yeah, it's really amazing. So right now I have to take out my cornrows and I'm using this tiny pointed thing to take out my cornrows. So this is what my hair looks like. I love my hair to have undergrowth before taking out my cornrows. This is what it looks like and this is how the back looks like. So guys, this is what my hair looks like. After taking out my cornrows, I'm going to leave a picture right there so you can see what my hair looks like before. So this is what my hair looks like now. Right now we detangle my hair using my big comb to detangle my hair. So yeah, this is a picture of my hair before, like a few months ago. And this is what it looks like now. So yeah guys, you can see the amazing results of how far my hair... So yeah, after detangling my hair using my big comb, this is what my fussy natural hair looks like. On this video, I'll be showing you all the products I use on my fussy natural hair. These are all the products I use for my natural hair. It's important you put your hair into smaller sections before washing and before applying any products to your hair. That way, it prevents it from breaking. I'm going to section my hair. I'm going to put my hair into smaller sections. So yeah. It's very nice when you section your hair before applying products or before washing. So this is what it looks like after sectioning. So right now I'll apply my condition to my hair. So after putting my hair into small sections, next is to apply my hair conditioner. So as you can see, I'm applying it down to the scalp of my hair and I'm using my end to pass through. So I'll cover it up and I'll allow this 
to penetrate into the scalp of my hair. Line your conditioner to your hair. Always try to cover. And I will leave this for 45 minutes. And after 45 minutes, I'll go ahead and wash this off. And this is 45 minutes later. So yeah, this is few minutes later. Go wash this off and I'll be using my shampoo. So next is to wash out my conditioner and I'm using a lukewarm water to wash out my condition. Next is to apply my Catno shampoo and I'm using same luke water to wash my hair. So yeah, this is the next day. So yeah guys, this is 24 hours later and this is what it looks like. So right now we unravel this. This is 24 hours later. This is what it looks like. Here me, I have my filter in the plastic. So I'll be putting in my substance into my plastic plates. Yes, so this is my rice water um, mixed with orange and onion. So this is what it looks like. I'll bring it closer so you guys can take a closer look and see what it looks like. Now I'll be putting some parts of my substance into my bottle can like this. So you don't have to throw this away. After applying this to your hair, you leave this on your hair for some couple of minutes or hours. And then the remaining of the substance is to reach our whole hair after few hours of applying this to our hair. 24 hours later, after setting aside my rice water, so right now I'm applying this to my hair, applying it down to the scalp of my hair and I'm using my hand to massage this into my hair. So as you can see my hair is still in a small section and this is a clean hair after washing and conditioning my hair. And I'm going to cover this. So at this point you can go back to your normal activity, you can do anything with this on. So that way I need to sink into your hair and down to your scalp. Okay. I basically forgot this rice water on my hair and that was really really amazing, like it was nice. Guys, this is a few hours later after applying my rice water to my hair. So right now I will unravel this. So after allowing it dry into your hair, the next is to rinse your whole hair using the remaining substance and the clean water. Do not use a soap. So guys, this is what it looks like after washing with my rice water. So next is to apply my hair growth oil and I will be applying this down to this, down to my scalp. So by massaging my scalp with my hair growth oil is to distribute my products to every areas of my hair and, and this also helps to increase blood flows around your hair and it's very good for hair growth as well. After applying my hair growth oil down to my scalp, I'll go ahead and unravel my braids, like my section, my little sections. I will unravel this. So after applying products to my hair, I will go ahead and take out my tiny little braids. So yeah, this is what my hair looks like, all clean. So this is what it looks like. So the importance of putting your hair into smaller sections, either braid, little braids or twisting it before washing it, is to avoid it from breaking. Like, is to avoid, if you wash your hair like this without putting it into small sections, or without braiding or twisting it, you're gonna have a lot of hair breakage. Like your hair is gonna break off. You're gonna lose a whole lot of hair. So it's very, very nice and very advisable. Before detangling my hair using my big comb, I'll go ahead and apply my black castor oil to the down of my scalp. Jamaica castor oil. Applying my black Jamaica castor oil down to the scalp of my hair so after applying my jamaica black castor oil down to the scalp of my hair next is to apply my castle shea butter daily moisturizer applying my daily moisturizer to my hair and i'm applying this down to the scalp of my hair before detangling with a big comb so yeah this is exactly what i'm doing detangling it after moisturizing it so yeah this is practically all this is all i do and how i maintain my natural hair has been the way i maintain my natural hair for the past one year this is a journey of one year i've been on natural for one year and this is how far and the result of 
my routine added the rice water to my routine just four months ago this is what my hair is using the rice water this is how far my hair has gone it has gone from this to this Rice water thickens the texture of your hair. It makes your hair look so healthy. Using rice water grows your hair so fast like magic. So yeah, um, I can attest to that. This is all for my natural hair routine. This is how and what I do to my hair. And trust me guys, it has really been an amazing experience. So I thought it wise to share my natural hair routine with you all and i hope this helps someone out there don't forget to tell me what you think about this routine share your thoughts right in the comment section turn up that bell button so that way you get notified whenever there is an upload from me thank you so much so if you find this video really helpful if you find it useful give it a huge thumbs up thank you so so much for stopping by thank you to my older many subscribers thank you so much guys thank you for supporting me thus far you guys are amazing thank you.